Wake won the toss and deferred, and North Carolina will receive. Michael Carter is back to return this Nick Skiba kick. And a touchback, and out to the 25-yard line. Will... Howell backpedaling. He finds his target in Dennis Newsom, but excellent work to run him down by Justin Sternad, the top tackler for Wake Forest's team defense. About 63 plays. These guys are up over 90 plays a game. Contest Taking a shot for Scotty Washington, incomplete. Contested balls is something that the Wake Forest offense thrives off of. Program around quick with trust from the players. Hand off to Michael Carter. Excellent penetration by Ryan Smenda Jr., the inside linebacker. Howell whips it outside, and it's broken up by Amari Henderson. Stepped in front of Deami Brown. What a play. Howell looks there quick. Tries to anticipate. Impressive. We were there the day before the ribbon cutting. Technically, we were the first people in there. I, I, I think you're right, man. Gorgeous. Ooh. What a tackle by Raymond Bonhasek. The Wake Forest tries to go lateral here. It's very important to set that edge. They call him a warrior. Newman. Deep shot. Got a man and saved. Surratt could not hold on. Miles Dorn on the coverage. Just throw. We talked about the hands of Wake Forest, contested throws. They love this inside fade. This is the fade, the go ball you usually see by the outside receiver. I mean, it's uh, it's interesting because usually they're both in the same uniform. That's what we're used to, but uh, I don't know, it's different. It's a lot different. Third down and long here for North Carolina. We'll swing it out. Good catch nearly by Rontavius Groves, but he's unable to move upfield. Love it. It's going to be awesome, though. Game day's there for the first time. Whoa, into traffic. Jamie Newman finds Surratt, and he muscles ahead for a first down. How did he pick that up? That's a throw. Kind of late over the middle in traffic. That Third down and eight. Good blitz pickup. And Newman was hoping that Jack Brudenthal would go deep. Ended up being incomplete. Five years straight before this four-year hiatus. Big win for either team that they can get here. Pop one off. Javante Williams Balls out. lost the football and is loose at the 20. And it may have been picked up by Wake Forest. Nasir Greer punched it out, and the Demon Deacons have it. Get the pin. Seems like it's going the other way. Ball comes out. All of a sudden, Wake Forest is in a beautiful position to get the first points of the night. This is a huge momentum swing. North Carolina looks like they're busting one free. And Nasir Greer with a huge stick. What are they specific? Wake Forest here. They keep track of everything. There goes Kenneth Walker. First down and goal, Wake Forest. Riding the read, Newman keeps, and Newman is in! Touchdown, Wake Forest! Demon Deacons on the board first. It becomes almost like a power whenever they hold on to it that long. Jamie Newman almost had the running back leading the way through the hole there for the first points of the board here in Winston-Salem. Now Sam Howell back to work. Wanted to take a shot, ran out of time. Carlos Basham, or as he's known, Adam. Adam. Great name. And Adam, you mentioned they're trying to take a shot. Amari Henderson jumped that hitch route earlier in the game. They he is a monster of a man and a great football player, good athlete. How into traffic, nearly intercepted by Isang Bassi, and Bo Corrales basically had to become the defender there. I don't care how fast you can throw it, it's going to be tough to thread the needle there. Well, I don't like this decision. This move, no yard left behind on that bounce right there. I like that. No yard left behind. Another deep shot looking for Surratt, and he pulls it in inside the North Carolina 40. What a receivers of any ACC team, of any ACC player. Kenneth Walker busted a 96-yarder last week, and he sets up Wake Forest in the red zone. Tom Jackson Studio, where we do countdown every day. It's cool to have those guys back. Whoop. Second and three, Jamie Newman on the run. Can pick up the first down, but not the score. But he wants the score. Touchdown, Wake Forest. His second of the night. Refuses to be stopped. 
Well, you're not kidding. Listen, UNC was great in red zone defense. What's the difference tonight? We mentioned Strobridge is not out. Swinging outside, incomplete for Daz Newsom. He said it going to break. Smallest Power 5 school in the country in terms of enrollment. There's Sage Surratt with a penalty marker thrown out to the 35-yard line. Sam Howell's going to pick it up. He had two drives of more than 90 yards against South, South Carolina. He's just been a slow starter. Fresh set of downs for Wake Forest. Got Shot him. deep. Surratt got it. And he is in for the touchdown. What a night for Sage Surratt. Started a little bit rough early. Had the jitters playing against the big brother. Got loose long early down the sideline. Now with a 51-yard touchdown with a perfectly thrown ball. And it's a great call. They He's week. given up a lot of points, though. That's a four-touchdown underdog against Clemson. Sam Howell running out of time again. Excellent coverage downfield by Wake Forest. And Boogie Basham closes it out. Chris Renee. Out for the season. Mac Brown said his corners had to play tall before the game. They tell me that sometimes too. I don't know what I, I don't know how to do that. Jaquari Roberson is brought down. Miles Dorn, excellent penetration from the safety spot. You're able to be a precision thrower on those throws. Jamie Newman's done a nice job. Sam Howell's done a nice job this season, but Jamie Newman's been more effective tonight and been effective to that guy right there. Just like sure I, that. They are not scared at all to throw it up. Whenever you got seven foot tall wide receivers, especially with Sage Sherratt, who's really feeling himself right now. A 28 yard reception, contested ball, go up and get it. Nick Skipa get involved, but they haven't been stopped yet. Might as well give it a go. This Trying is to run it with Walker. Needed the five. Initial indication is that he's short. A quarterback can come in in a situation like this. It's a great opportunity, but it's not a... They said he's a runner, though, Matt. There you go. You called it. Huge run for Jace Ruder for some... Another third and ten, though. Advantage Wake Forest. To the perimeter. Big hit on Javante Williams. And he will get run out of bounds. Shy of the sticks. Came up with Clawson awesome. Carey. Put it on a shirt. Jamie Newman. Let's see where the forward progress is ruled. It's going. It's the O-line's best friend. They're not listening. They're taking a shot. Ruder scrambling out of the pocket. And he's brought down by Luke Masterson. The hybrid rover safety for separated divisionally. So they don't protect those cross-division matchups because of the other protected rivalries. Jace Ruder on the run. It could ignite the North Carolina Tar Heels. And on the flip side, if they pick it up, Long pass there outside, incomplete. Good job to run to the football by Miles Dorn. Third and forever yet again, Matt. Just a three-man rush. They set up the screen, and that gets blown up by Nasir Greer. Found Daz Newsom and shut down the drive. This is as dominating a performance as I've ever seen a defense have. Nasir Greer with another big hit. He caused the first fumble that led to the first touchdown. A huge stop on a Vegas, ESPN Plus.com slash top rank. Download the ESPN app if you're watching on your mobile device. Newman across the 40 to the 44. And 0 for 10 on third down North Carolina tonight. Boogie Basham. Getting after Sam Howe, it's ruled as an incomplete pass, and they're 0 for 11 on third down. The theme music means Boomer and TJ are back. That's on ESPN Plus starting this week. Jamie Newman hit as he throws. Dangerous pass. Miles Gordon's out there, and it is an interception for North Carolina. This is the type of thing that can turn it all around. State that you saw very good against Duke, held Memphis scoreless in the bowl game for a good chunk of that game. And now their defense continues to pitch the shutout. Manny Walker off the edge, making the stop there on Williams. Now it's third down and 20. Eight back in coverage. Howell's going to throw deep down the middle, and he's got a man for a first down in Daz Newsom. And 20. That's about all you got. You go deep down the middle, deep outside, and no one. Back to the ground, Michael Carter. Evading tackles and back-to-back -back first downs for North Carolina for the first time tonight. On third and 15. How under pressure.
pressure. Down he goes. Justin Sternad. With the sixth sack tonight, it's Justin Sternad. Incredible player, leader. Every coach talked about it. The players talk about it. So Matt Brown said, doesn't have a lot of faith, but he has a big leg. Can he deliver the first Carolina points of the night? It is good. What a ball by Noah Ruggles. 425 Virginia tomorrow night on the ACC Network. Keep it conservative here with Walker. And North Carolina's defense makes a stop. 0-0, one score at a time. There's no such thing as a, as a play that scores two touchdowns. We've got to get one. Deep shot. Howell connects. He's got Deami Brown. Into the Wake Forest red zone. A big play. And just like that, that mentality, that mindset, not giving up, we're not out of this, creates a big play here in the fourth quarter when they've been looking for one desperately. A 55-yard pitch and catch. Ray Henderson, Molly McGrath says Henderson is okay. Michael Carter on the perimeter, beats the man he needs to beat, and he's in for the first Carolina touchdown of the night. They had numbers on that left side. Blitz coming. Newman taking a shot. They're challenging Morrison, trying to get Surratt on a deep ball. No flag on the play. It'll be fourth down for Wake Forest. Morrison, and actually an incredible throw. Sage Surratt on the go route. This is called a back shoulder throw. You're going to see Greer caused a fumble tonight. Big stuff. How under pressure delivers a low throw on target. Good for a first down. Draw play, Michael Carter. Kicks it to the outside for a big game. Inside the 30, hurtling inside the 20 yard line. Just had the touchdown on the last series. Delayed handoff, pops one down the left sideline. We mentioned, Pat, this is one of their faster players and faster running backs. Outside runner, 50 yard gain. They were bringing pressure. What's good against pressure? Keeps it and fires. It is caught. It is a touchdown for De'Ami Brown. We got a ball game with six minutes to go. They go with a little play action. RPO. What a great throw. The former baseball player. Howell pumps, fires, and zone. It's caught by Garrett Wilson, and it's a three-point game. Ooh. Bringing corner blitzes on him. He's saying, okay, you're not baiting me into You're not trapping me. Protecting the football. Down he goes as Tyrone Hopper picks up the sack, his first of the season, and it's second down. And that's half of what it is in defense. It's just effort. On second and long, Newman looking for Washington, reaching down for the catch. What a play. What? Down to the 43. What an answer. UNC gets their first sack. UNC seems to have all the momentum. Then Jamie Newman delivers a dime to the ACC wide receiver of the week last week. Boy, Newman got rid of it at the very last second to Christian Beal Smith. That option read fooled everybody on that play. Decision there. That's the Wake Forest way, though. Back to the ground game. Beal Smith gets stopped, trying to hold on to that football. Clock will continue to move from the middle of the field. And Nick Skiba delivers again 15 in a row. Pass rush with just three guys, but they're getting it. How quick throw. It was deflected back to him, and he takes off. He got close to the sticks. It was deflected by Boogie Basham. They'll mark it short of the line to gain, so the clock continues Still to move. Still going. The clock is still rolling here. Need to pick it up. Need a half a yard here. They can't spike it. It's fourth down. They need the yard, and then they need to spike. It's a run play. Big hole. Michael Carter should get out of bounds if he can. Clock continues to move. It's over. Down to triple zeros, and it's over. Wow. Let's wait here. Mac Brown telling the, the officials. The refs are the refs are, the refs are headed back towards the tunnel. They're sprinting. And Mac Brown is running down the sideline. 
No timeouts. You had to get the first down. You could have given yourself up because the clock would have stopped for a moment on first down. They held him up. They held him up. Football 101 has paid off for Coach Clawson. The young team with North Carolina just got outsmarted by the vets of Lake Forest. And it's hard for.